I'm Pat Farnack with the WCBS Health and Wellbeing Report. Chana, that's why I married you. Boy, do we need this book. (laughs) (laughs) Especially if we've been married a while. (laughs) (laughs) That's right. And, And, you know, the amazing thing is, when it comes to personality differences, people always say the very thing that attracts you to your spouse ends up being the very thing that annoys you. And so people true. say it all the time, but what they don't realize is that very thing that attracts you is like a battery that can continually attract you to your spouse if you know how to use it. That's so true. So how do we keep our marriage happy and uh, full of meaning? I believe that the secret to having that dynamic marriage is that you're going somewhere, you're growing together. That's where personality differences really come in. We marry someone, we're attracted to someone who balances us out. And then the question is, what do we do with that? How do we look at it? I'm going to give you an example of a woman named Grace who who came to speak with me. She said, I'm so annoyed because my husband can't give me that emotional support that I see so many of my friends' husbands giving them. It's really, it's really difficult. I said to her, well, why, what attracted you? Why did you marry him? She, she says, well, he's really strong. He's reliable disciplined. He's a real man. I love that about him. I said, so you weren't looking for the emotional type? She said, well, I was actually not attracted to the emotional type. I, I mean, I dated them, but it just never worked. <laughs> so, I said, so now you got your guy and now you want him also to be the emotional type. Yeah. We, we won't do this. So I said, why don't you go home you know, today and just try to remember why you married him and try to look through those eyes. She came back the next session and she was so excited. She said, you know, I went home and I just, I remembered that a friend of mine at work had just told me that her husband woke her up in the middle of the night because there was a rat in the apartment. (laughs) And she said, I remember thinking, my husband would never wake me up in the middle of the night because there was a rat. Like, he would deal with that rat, you know? Yes. And I looked at my husband with those new eyes and those adoring eyes and remembering why I married him. And I said, you know, there's my rat fighter. And I just looked at him and and, and I felt this acceptance and allowing him to be who he is. That's and a great story. That's a great story. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you know, a couple of days later, she, she had trouble sleeping and he noticed it in the morning. He says, you know, what's going on? She said, well, I, I always told you in the past when I was upset about something. It's something at work. Never mind. Because, you know, I would tell you the story and then you wouldn't be able to give me the support. And then I get upset. So never mind. You know, I didn't marry you for that support. She said, but I really want to try. Wow. Says, okay. Yeah. So she, she tells him the story and he says, you know what? I really don't know what to say, but what I can do is give you a hug. And he gave her the most amazing five-minute hug. She said, that's what she needed. Wow, who knew, right? Who knew he could be? (laughs) Right, right. but you know what, Pat? Because she stopped trying to get him to be what he's not, he was able to be who he was. And that's the irony of accepting our spouse. You know, when we're trying to change them, it's what you resist persists. That's so yeah. true. When that's we so allow true. and accept, the irony is that's when they come more towards us and we end up getting a lot more of what we had hoped for. But, it, you know, this is this is the work of marriage. It's like it's a brilliance of, you know, learning how to love, learning how to let go, learning how to accept, learning how to also be ourselves in the relationship, learning how to let our guard down. And that's the beauty of marriage. 